Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your November 2019 general reading. We are looking at just the first two weeks of November, so from the 1st through the 15th roughly. And this reading is for the Earth sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or if you are watching, cross-watching for a Capricorn as well, this is for you. Although, uh, if you know your rising moon sign, Venus sign, watch those as well because it can always bring uh, additional clarification or more pieces to the picture. So welcome everyone. Welcome to any newcomers and first timers and welcome back followers and subscribers. And always thank you for all your like, share, subscribe, support, feedback, and comments. Always welcome and always appreciated. Uh, I don't know if my background has changed again since the last uh, general videos I posted a couple of weeks ago. I've been traveling so much lately. Uh, I just came back from a couple of weeks exploring Northern Africa, Tunisia, and I'm back in Poland at my as of yet unfinished apartment. So it's just bare walls and, and my silly face here. I'll be here for a couple of more weeks finishing up here and then going back to the States for a little while. Uh, uh, one of the things about traveling quite a bit and staying in a variety of different places is uh, I have very little control over my background or lighting, so we have to work with what we have to work with because uh, I'm pretty committed to always getting uh, the readings out. Okay, enough of that. Let's move right into this reading. Uh, oh, one more thing, as most of you know, if you are interested in scheduling a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me live or recorded, just click on the description link below and uh, you will get more information and contact info there. You can email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. Uh, I do readings full-time five to six days a week, sometimes seven. It's all that I do. So I'm pretty diligent at working with both your schedule and mine to set up readings in as timely a fashion as possible. Uh, I offer a wide variety of readings of all different lengths and types in all the main areas of life. So email me if you're interested. I'd be delighted to work with you. All right, let's move right into Capricorn. Capricorn, let's see what's in store for you <coughs> for the first half of November. Capricorn. Okay. Okay, Capricorn. We have death, followed by the Six of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the Ten of Wands. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy and focus is the Ten of Pentacles. Sorry, did I say Ten of Pentacles? That's interesting. The Ace of Pentacles followed by the Ten of Wands, and then from the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles representing your overall energy. So I'm actually getting two different things from this Capricorn. One of them is for a much larger group of you. One of them may only be for a few of you. So your overall energy, I mean, this is a general reading. And one of the reasons we always suggest you write, watch your rising sign, moon sign, Venus sign is because it can provide additional bits of the picture to provide a more cohesive, you know, picture of what's going on in your life uh, because the details and specifics of how this resonates for you is always going to vary because there's so many of you watching but the energy fundamentally remains the same so the energy and the focus for all of you for for many of you for the next uh the first two weeks of november is the ten of pentacles you have two tens you have the ten of pentacles and the ten of wands now in the tarot tens represent something cycling to a close, needing to cycle to a close, or coming to a culmination achievement point. The Ten of Pentacles is long-term stability and security in the physical structure of your life, which is what Pentacles represents. Pentacles is governed by the element of Earth, and the Earth energy of your life is all about the physical structure of your life. Uh, the things that make us feel stable, solid, and secure in the physical structure of our life or the efforts we put into obtaining those things, which is why in the tarot, pentacles often references things like 
money, finance, property, real estate, asset, job, property, home, etc. The efforts we put into those or long-term relationships on an emotional level, it's, you know, it's about the work and the effort we put into uh, to the more, in t you know, the less tangible things. The Ten of Pentacles is about long-term stability and security, particularly financial and material security, particularly in connection to home and family. Sometimes the Ten of Pentacles can, can re reference family home, family money, family property, family estate, long-term retirement, uh, long-term stable secure marriages. This is about inheritances. This is about the long slow accumulation of what goes into this. This is like a present sense of abundance but the reason it's there is because of the long slow accumulation of what went into building it up which is why this can sometimes represent inheritance as well which is a, 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 some kind of abundance we get uh, because of those who came before us putting all their time and effort and and the history that goes into it so some of you may be dealing with uh, inheritance something to do with inheritance issues family money family property division of estate there may have been a death in the family for some of you if that is the case for some of you I feel like it might be for a few of you and my condolences and my heart goes out to you uh, so for some of you it may be around that and it may be around you know you know how to deal with like those monetary uh, uh, material details about what to do with somebody's passing we do have death on the six of cups uh, six of cups is a card it can represent family childhood uh, relatives roots of origin where you grew up nostalgia looking at things through rose-colored glasses uh, death represents the ending of something or the profound transformation of something as well so for some of you I mean we always try and we never want to read death as physical death although it's something that comes to us all but sometimes it is because sometimes that's what happens and that's what we have to deal with so for some of you uh, somebody may have passed recently it could have been parents or relatives or a childhood friend or something of that sort and you may be kind of focused on uh, being having to or being asked to help or be in the midst of kind of dealing with all the myriad of little details that often need to be dealt with and somebody's passing with material issues financial issues you know uh, property all of that kind of stuff some of you I think and I, I'm getting this for a lot of you too because I know a lot of Capricorns went through in the recent past a separation or divorce or split or something like that which required a relocation a move new job putting your life back together again and I feel like for some of you this is a, just kind of an ongoing thing and death in the six of cups some of you may be spending this time and you know we are approaching the holiday season and that can be sometimes a difficult and challenging and lonely time particularly for people who are on their own away from family or have just gone through you know a relatively recent breakup it's the time where we always kind of you know get a little nostalgic and go through pictures and think about the past and sometimes get kind of sad and down and depressed and doing that you know kind of tripping down memory lane and amnesia lane and all of that other kind of stuff it's it's quite normal to do and understandable to do my caution to you Capricorn is if you're doing this at this time to not get go too deep or get too stuck on it where you find yourself maybe isolating or getting really depressed or down or crying a lot we don't want to do it to that extent it's fine to reminisce we all do it and sometimes that comes that's bittersweet and sometimes it comes with sadness you know kind of looking back over and ending particularly if you're looking at it through rose-colored glasses try and stay somewhat practical about it and don't do it too often or too deep now next to that we have the ace of pentacles and the ten of wands so the ace of pentacles is and you've had this before in, in recent readings Capricorn a moving relocating new jobs receiving a, a sum of money or resources that enable you to have a practical new beginning I feel like a lot of you went through this during the last six months to a year a breakup a split something ending having to move relocate get a new job some of you have family some of you don't just trying to kind of remake your life over again and uh, you have done that you are doing that but you're still in kind of the early days and months of doing that um, and it can feel like somewhat of a burden here I mean we do have the ten of wands that clarifies it the ace of Pentacles is a beautiful card it speaks of practical new beginnings that hold a lot of potential and 
opportunity, but there's a lot involved in it. The Ten of Wands can show up sometimes when you're feeling tired, overwhelmed, overburdened. Uh, something is also coming to an end, cycling to an end, and I feel like the ending that you've gone through itself is kind of cycling to its end as well. And if that makes sense, I mean, there's a healing process to go through when something comes to an end. And I feel like for many of you, you're kind of cycling down to the end of that. For And, and, and in addition to that, I feel like there's a lot of things keeping you busy, a lot of things you're doing, working, putting it all together. For some of you, it might also include you know, getting things set up, you know, working this new job, getting into a new place. Uh, if you've got kids or that kind of family around you, kind of getting them settled in and maybe starting school because school just started recently for uh, many children. You know, all of those details, all of those things that are involved with, uh, you know, moving and building a new life and starting over again. It's a lot. And even though it's all good and it's all positive, sometimes it can feel very exhausting and overwhelming. Um, particularly as the holiday season approaches and you know we're always tempted to kind of look back and reflect on things as well so um, just be careful to kind of moderate yourself with that it looks like a lot of you are working towards your long-term stability and security as well let's just pull a clarifying card for this ten of wands Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. This is the work card, worker bee card. Working hard, working long, maybe working overtime, getting up early, staying up late, repetitive work, putting a lot of effort into your life. Why? Because you're working on building up your stability and security for yourself and possibly for family as well. Um, let's see what's right behind that. Oh, lovely. The Ten, here's another Ten, the Ten of Cups. Uh, so you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, Death. You have cards about endings you have cards about burdens coming to an end working towards long-term security and it looks like you're going to make it because this is what you're doing you're working hard long for the security and stability just like the ten of pentacles this is the long-term security and stability of your family but in more of an emotional realm because cups is governed by the element of water which in the tarot represents our emotions feelings our emotional landscape so what you're working towards is financial and material physical security for yourself and possibly a family and the emotional uh, spiritual mental uh, security and stability for your family as well that's what you're working so hard to do and you are doing it uh, be careful maybe during this time to take as good of care of yourself as you can even if it's hard to carve out little niches of time maybe to get away for you know a little while or find an hour to read a book or take a hot bath or get a massage or something just try to find carve out little bits of time during this busy hard working time to take care of yourself and give yourself little pleasures along the way if you can't afford to take a big chunk of time off or you can't afford it financially try to carve out little bits of pleasure for yourself that kind of make you uh, help you to recharge and reconnect but uh, it, it's a it's a really good reading. Uh, just be careful not to. You're you're on the right path. You're doing the right things. Uh, uh, you're focused on the right things. It just seems like a couple of week period of just kind of dealing with details, dealing with work, work maybe sadness as well about things gone in the past, and all of that. So just make sure to kind of focus on taking care of yourself as too as well as you can. Little bits here and there. Um, yeah. So Capricorn, that pretty much wraps up your uh, reading for the first half of November. We'll see what surfaces during the mid-month. might be this or it might be something new. We'll see. Uh, again, if this reading resonated for you, uh, or if any of the readings do, and you'd like to reach out for a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, just click on the description link below for more info and contact details. And feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. That link is also provided below. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the mid-month readings. Until then, as always, much love, joy, blessings, uh, strength, healing, and wisdom for you. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.